Thank you for the kind invitation to speak here. Oh, something is lost in the middle. Okay. Um, Thomas Synthesis is available since 2008 in Europe. We performed now more than 20,000 Thomas Synthesis in our department since December 2008. And we have integrated the system in the diagnostic workup of a breast. Uh, I call it, it's a tailored mammography. The goal is and was to get the higher cancer detection rate and to get the lower recall rate by reducing bio 3 and 0. That's all exactly what you want in a screening program. And the challenges to incorporate the DPT into the clinical practice, the routine clinical practice, and this in regards of breast density and the risk factor of a patient, and also in the radiation exposure, I think. We have to look about this. <coughs> the potential rule is to ruling out abnormalities in diagnostic mammograms, and for me, it's a screening tool, also in screening mammograms. We start since 2000, uh, since last year, with a screening program in Bern. And we use now thermosynthesis C view to look and compare the images. To determine whether a suspicious lesion is benign or malignant in women with high risk, we want to have an earlier cancer detection. Also, I think we saw cases with multiple quality earlier. It works well in ACR 1, 2, 3, and, and 4, I put a, little, a big question mark on it. I think the ultrasound is in ACR 4 more meaningful. Um, why does it take such a long time that it convinced the radiologist or the serologic community? Because it was a lack of literature. The first sensitivity excuse me, was from Swan, also Perscane. He showed that it's a little bit improving in sensitivity with DBT. And to show a case, it's a mammogram from 2007. And if you look carefully, maybe there's a little bit distortion there, maybe there. Not much, maybe subposition, don't know. Also, on this side, more density, and there's maybe something in the forbidden zone, and maybe there. So, now we follow this lady all second year. That's the result. 2007, 2009, 2011, double reading, and now with the C view, we detect this radial distortion clear. But this lesion was before. Also, now C view reconstructed tomosynthesis 2D imaging. And if you look back, it's still there. Let me a little bit growing now. But you missed it over a year. In the tomosynthesis, it's clear. You cannot miss it. This lady came back five months after mammography in our department with a lump. And mammography, digital mammogram, see view, reconstructed imaging. It looks nearly similar. You have more density on this side, maybe there, maybe there. Also, if you go now for tomosynthesis, it's obvious. You will not miss this lesion. And this lesion was still there, just this lesion. Same size. Look, CC view. All three lesions are there. One of them is it. And the tomosynthesis is clear. You will not miss this lesion. It helps to reduce the recall rate in 20 to 40 percent. I show an example for us. We all see this lesion, and 
If you go, see this thing? Doesn't work. No. And if you go for one scan, back. Let's start. Yes, now, now I found it. Doesn't work. So excuse me, you have to believe me. <laughs> it was only a supposition. No. We tried it before it works, but no. Different. Maybe if it's thick. Okay. So we go on. It was only a superposition, the lesion totally gone. Results in performing of DBT, it's improved sensitivity with increased accuracy in dense and also in fatty breasts. I've had brown cysts. It works very well in fatty breasts. It reduced recall rate and the increase in detection of multifocality and earlier cancer detection. Look at these images. This lady came for market calcification. And if you look at tomosynthesis, it's obvious, it's not only microcalcification, it's also a solid radial lesion and a second one, close to it. Hard to detect on a digital mammogram. But what have we done? We start in 2008 and we do normal digital mammogram and if we see something suspicious, we add a tomosynthesis. That's the first we do. And then we saw, oh, it works. The next step was we do digital mammogram and add a tomo view in dense breasts and also on risk patients. And, but this affects already the dose. In America, I know it's, it's FDA approved since 2011. You can do two digital mammograms per site and also to digital uh, tomosynthesis. But this doubles your dose. And especially in screening programs, I don't think it's accepted in Europe. Look at these images. There's also a little bit more density, but follow up two years, same size. So. Maybe it's here in the CC position, radial distortion a little bit. On a screening program, you don't recommend it. And if you have a CC view, <coughs> see if you, um, you see clear now, it's a radial lesion, and you don't miss this lesion. Also not on Thomas Innocent, but I can show you. I try it again. No, it doesn't work. Also on the oblique view, it's now easy to detect this lesion. On the CPU image, it's in the reconstructed images from a Thomas synthesis. Also on the CC view, much easier to detect. Implementing DBT 
in the clinical practice, is 2D imaging still necessary? Me, I, I ask a colleague, and most of my colleagues say yes, we need it. One colleague from Wales asked me, uh, why do you do 2D imaging anymore? Have you ever missed one solid cancer in Thomas synthesis? And I think he has right. If I go back to my cases, I will not find anything. The only thing I found, I'll show this case later, is a subtle change if you compare the images, not more. But I think we have also found this on a tomosynthesis. But in my opinion, it's still useful for comparing prior images, 2D, also with C few images for subtle changes. And I think on this part, on market classifications, you need it. You need 2D images for the distribution and for the overview. But the future, I guess, is C view. Like a landmark. If you put an island as well here, so you will detect it if you compare the images. And it's like in this case, two-year follow-up, a different position. So the first aspect of me, maybe a lymph node. Different position, maybe this one. Maybe a little bit growing. But on a CC view, it's different. There's a subtle change, more than here. Here's nothing. So I recommend this on a tomosynthesis. It's got irregular, this lesion. The border is not smooth like a lymph node. So it was a cancer. C view. What does it mean? I call it, it's all in one mammography. It's a creation of synthesized 2D images from the 3D dataset by a special reconstruction algorithm. It's available since 2011 in Europe. It eliminates the need of 2D images. And then the dose is nearly the same as the 2D exam alone. So we have now this dose problem, and not anymore. And the quality of synthesized 2D images is acceptable for comparison 2D images with the CFU images and with prior images. And as you can see here now, this is a mammogram from a screening, 2013. And now this is 2011, it's a CFU. So all the structures you will find on these CFU images, not a problem. You can compare it easily. Look, it's the same. You will not miss anything. You can compare it easily. And if we go to the literature, there's a nice article from Tagariccio. He compares spot views with 3D tomosynthesis. And that's what we do in a diagnostic workup if we have a lesion. It's not clear this lesion, so we do a spot view. And the diagnostic accuracy is at least equivalent in this study. And that's exactly what we do. Spot view is lady kind of multiple classifications. We thought this is a DCIS. And with also more density around the micro classifications. And we do a syntactic vacant biopsy. We took a lot of tissue out, micro classifications, dense tissue, fatty tissue, and the histology was papillomas. FEA, micro classification, cysts, no DCIS. So what do we now? Normally we control this lady in 12 months. But from the tomosynthesis, synthesis, you know there must be a cancer. So it works really good for solid lesions. I think it was this, if you compare this, this is a cancer, a little bit fatty, and a spot view, not on the tomosynthesis. synthesis. 
the Rosian in Radiology published, he compared tomosynthesis with spot fuse in characterization, a breast tumor as benign or malignant. And the result was mass characterization in terms of visibility rating. And reader performance, virus assessment, was at least equivalent with a DBT. So in conclusion, we don't need any additional imaging with a DBT. Screening program, radial lesion, on the oblique view, surrounded by fatty tissue, central in the CC view, we do a tomosynthesis and C view, we don't find this lesion anymore, also not on spot view. It's only a superposition of tissue. So if you look at these two studies, we don't need any additional imaging. We have the same dose, DBT, and we have 2D images. Expect the benefits. It boosts radial lesions. That's not exactly what we want to have. And all the mild classifications are better than the aid. I show an example for this. It's a post-operative situation. On a 2D image, is only a flat density. If you go for a C view image, you see more that it's a radiating aspect of a lesion, or in tomosynthesis, exactly what it is. After intervention with surgery, not a flat imaging. Also, marker calcification, 2D imaging, digital mammogram, dense breast, not so clear detectable, on C view, clear detectable, also on the tomosynthesis. And this is the point. You first have to detect the lesion before you can say, oh, there is something. You have to find this lesion. And it's much, much easier to find this here than here. And the breast density is underestimated. That you, have to, you have to know this if you use this system. And the cutis and subcutis is only in the thin slices of the thermal synthesis available for evaluation. So I was waiting for a page at DC since three years. Last week I got one, but the last lecture was prepared. It was easy to detect on a sea view the infiltration of the skin, but I cannot show it, it this time. You see here, digital mammogram, sea view, density is underestimated. Also here, digital mammogram, sea view, Density is underestimated. Digital mammogram C view. Density underestimated. That's maybe really a drawback. It's more time consuming for the radiographers and radiologists. It's more expensive. But in conclusion, it reduces the false positives. It increases the sensitivity. Increases the early cancer detection. Also, the multifocality, in my opinion, and increases reader confidence in bias classification, and I sleep better since Thomas synthesis. Thank you. <laughs>